Technical Veterinary Learning Channel Honored by Professor Ahmed Mamdouh Sharif, Professor of Epidemiology and Infectious Diseases, the ex-head of the Department of Veterinary Medicine, the ex-vice dean of Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, Bani Suif University, Egypt, presents today. We will clarify and discuss today the theoretical epidemiological study. Epidemiology approach and methods. As with all scientific endeavors, the practice of epidemiology relies on a systematic approach. In very simple term, we have to count, divides, and compares. Before counting cases, however, must decide what a case is. This is done by developing to case definition, then using this case definition to collect information about the deceased case, then performs a descriptive epidemiology by characterizing the cases collectively according to time, place, and population. To calculate the disease rate, we divide the number of cases by the size of the population. Finally, to determine whether this rate is greater than what one would normally expect and if so, to identify factors contributing to this increases. We have to compare the rate from this population to the rate in an appropriate comparison group. Using analytic epidemiology techniques and these actions will be described in more detail below. Theoretical epidemiology or mathematical modeling of any infectious disease by simulating the natural pattern of disease occurrence. This can project how infectious disease progress to show the likely outcome of an epidemic and help information veterinarian authorities or public health authorities about intervention. Models are basic assumption or collected statistics along with mathematics to find parameters for various infectious disease and how to use them as uh, the parameter for calculate the effect of different intervention like mass vaccination program like occurrence of pandemics comparison between theoretical or mathematical modeling epidemiology and has advantages and disadvantages we will note that the advantages of this epidemiology it makes a progress and improve practice by directed a cyclic graph which can model many different kinds of information including infectious diseases make it clear how difficult social epidemiology is and what is need randomized control trial or instrumental va variables or a change in exposure but also clear definition of necessary variables in analysis it helped to solve hormone replacement controversially about myocardial infarctions. While the disadvantages, it gives uncertain results, but rather relies on mathematical theories to sign the epidemiology of any disease. Uncertain results, but all are hypothetical. As COVID 19 or SARS CoV 2 pandemic, is questionable all over the world so many theoretical epidemiology or mathematical modeling are tried to solve its problem and to show how it will be longed for and how it will be infect the people and how many peoples will be infected the example of that the medium term COVID-19 forecast 19 forecasting epidemic forecasting.org 
more than RDT under slash CID equal. Researchers from Oxford of uh, Humanity Institute have created country-specific prediction of the current and future spread of COVID-19 coronavirus by the basic reproduction number denoted by R0 model by measure of how transferable a disease is by mean that how this virus transmitted to whom and how many. This model work as the following. The impact on the selected region is stimulated using an epidemiological model based on global, real-world data on human population and travel patterns, displayed as an epidemic curve. The mitigation strength is its choice. This model emphasizes that read outcome depends on human actions. Even given some mitigation level, the outcome is still uncertain and dependent on virus seasonality, viral response to different weather conditions, mitigation decisions made by other countries, technological progress in testing, contact tracing, and vaccines. The result of this model are used as an input to the publicity available version of the epidemic modeling software GLEAM. To see to the results of this program, results are displayed as a pack of trajectories representing the uncertainty inherent in this model and the difference in trajectory caused by the response of us as a society. This model expects that at the second day of May 2020, USA will have around 2 million people infected, but the official number is about 1 million 132,000, was lower than about 1 million than the Oxford model estimated. This model expected that Russia at the same day will have 84,000 infected people, but officially it will be higher. It's about 124,000 people already infected. This model expected that China will have at the second day of May 2020 4 million persons infected. But officially, in China, the authorities announced about 82,000 and 875 persons already infected. In UK, this model expected that around 1 million persons infected, but officially, health provider in England said that about 177,000 people are infected. This model expected that Germany will have 234,000 people infected, but the official number is around 164,000 people are infected. So there are differences between the model and the official number uh, 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 in this case. This describes that this is an estimation and hypothetical for estimation how the infectious disease will be. The difference between the number of this model and the official number indicate uncertainty of the model numbers because of a lot of reasons such as number of real tested people the results of this model are used as an input to the publicity available version of the epidemic modeling software GLEAM and decisions made by other countries epidemiology series will be continued by TVL channel 
so please subscribe this channel to have the rest